So I saw this on uh, on the Wall Street Journal's uh, X page, which is quite interesting. Uh, E-Trade, owned by Morgan Stanley, is concerning removing meme stock leader Keith Gill, a.k.a. Warren Kitty, from his platform over concerns about potential stock manipulation related to his recent GME option trades. So Roy Kitty is the guy back in 2021 who became a multi-million dollar <laughs> genius overnight because he owned a bunch of uh, GameStop stock. I think he owned a bunch of options. You make more options. You got here's the thing about options. You got to know how to really play options. Um, I would I would advise, and I'm not a stock person really per se, but I would advise if you don't know how to play options, stick with the stocks. But if you're really good at options, you can make a killing. Um, but you have to really understand options. Well, Roy Kitty. I think he's a broker. He really understood options. So, so at that time, at that point, twenty early twenty twenty, like late twenty twenty two, GameStop wasn't really doing much at all. I think it was in the teens. But he bought a whole bunch of options, and because he saw something, and that thing shot up, and he became a multimillionaire. Good for him. So that happened, and then not just him, a bunch of people. There, there's been documentaries about the whole GameStop thing where people just made became millionaires overnight. It's, it's a beautiful story. And then they they also made a movie, Dumb uh, Dumb Money. Starring Paul Dano, uh, who played the Riddler um, in Batman, he played uh, Warren Kitty. Um, it, it's, it's a good movie, so check it out. But yeah, the story is fascinating. You know, it, it kind of showed that people can make a lot of money um, in stocks. The problem with the stock market as a whole, there's a lot of people who feel like the stock market is kind of rigged and manipulated. You know, there's there's a lot of short sellers. Sellers are, are people. I mean, short 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 sellers are people who make money. If the stock loses money or if it's pushed down, which is crazy, you would you would hope that stocks would go up and that's how you make money. But there's a bunch of people who make money when stocks go down. And it's it's crazy because there's a lot of cheap penny stocks that's like in like one five cents, 10, 20 cents, 30, 50 cents. that should be way up like two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. There's stocks that's one dollar, two dollars that should be almost like thirty, forty dollars. Like there's a lot of people feel like there's a lot of manipulation when it comes to the stocks, and it's rigged for people who for, for hedge fund people and people who have got a lot of money. So guys like Warren Kitty, when you see something like that, you're almost like, hey, it's almost like Robin Hood. Hey, rip, rob for the rich and give to the poor. So Warren Kitty disappears after that whole 2021 run. He disappears until a few weeks ago, and there was and he rebooted his uh, his X account because before it was Twitter and now it's X. And he rebooted his account, and it was a drawing of a guy. He was sitting back like this, and then he leaned forward. And that was like the bad signal for all these dudes uh, to buy GameStop. So the GameStop stock went up. Not as crazy it was in 2021, but it went up, but then went back down. And Warren Kitty kept on posting like these movie clips on, on his account. He didn't say anything. He just kept on posting clips. They were entertaining clips, but he kept on posting clips. And the last clip was E.T. going home. And some people were saying, like, no, you have to watch the clips backwards. <laughs> There's a message. It was like a whole conspiracy theory, <laughs> what Roaring Kitty meant <laughs> by all these clips. But he didn't say anything. And then uh, that was like a couple of weeks ago. Stock was around 20 some odd dollars. And then either Sunday, late, late Sunday night or early Monday morning on Reddit, he posted all these shares that he still owns from GameStop. He owns a bunch of options and a bunch of uh, of stocks on the, uh, for GameStop. Millions of them. And that, again, was another, it felt like it was another signal. And then the GameStop stock went up again, but again, it, it went back down again. So people don't know what is, what, what's going on. And he posted the green Uno reverse Uno card, um, which, you know, that means it, it means let's go reverse. So that's almost like another signal that GameStop is about to reverse itself. But we don't know. Will, will it reserve? Will GameStop go up tomorrow, next week, next month? Will it go crazy like we? No one knows except for him. <laughs> he knows something, but he's not saying. That's like, come on, we want us to know so we can all be rich. <laughs> but he's not saying anything. But the thing that's upsetting about this whole situation is Morgan Stanley. Like, Roy Kitty's not doing anything wrong. E Trade is for everybody. Download the app, use the website, you take you, you take your money, you invest your money. People make money and lose money on stocks every day. Like I, I still try to figure this stuff out. Like I'm not good at it. <laughs> Either I'm too early or too late. <laughs> I can't. Something's yes, and it's like, oh no, what happened to all my money? <laughs> so man, like, you know, so people who know how to read people who really understand stocks, like the 
people who uh who know understand the scanners or they understand charts uh they're the ones that does really well um who are just regular folk and then sometimes it's just dumb luck you know sometimes it's just that you know but yeah so morgan stanley i if i'm if i'm them i would leave warren kitty alone like i mentioned when he posted that thing about all this GameStop options and stocks that he still owns he posted it on reddit now it all all it takes is for him to say one day yep e-trade kick me off the platform the people who are even fans of warren kitty who feels like the stock game is rigged um they will mobilize and do what they can first they probably take all their money out of e-trade and try to find another platform to invest that's a big blow Second thing is, they'll do everything they can to drive down Morgan Stanley stock. Now, they're not going to drive it down to bankruptcy, I don't think. Unless, unless you've got some heavy hitters who does who wouldn't like that either. Like, if, if, if Warren Kitty knows, like, some Warren Buffett-ish type dude who has millions and, or billions of dollars with Morgan Stanley, and he doesn't like, he or she doesn't like this stuff, and pull out their money, whoa. Morgan St- Stanley cannot afford to have their stock at least even being cut in half because the board of directors get all scared. A lot of investors get up, get, will become all, will be afraid. So Morgan Stanley, leave Roaring Kitty alone. This reminds me of that, that dude, that dude that made that Britney Spears video, like a, uh, back in 2008 when Britney, after Britney shaved her head and he said, leave Britney alone. <laughs> well, I feel the same way. Morgan Stanley, leave Roaring Kitty alone. <laughs> oh, what? You're jealous that, that they made a movie about, uh, uh, Warren Kitty starring Paul Dano from the, from Batman who played the Riddler. Tough cookies. Leave Roaring Kitty alone. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Morgan Stanley, if you value your company, if you're happy with all the people you have trading on E-Trade, do not kick off uh, Keith Gill. Don't do it. He's not doing anything wrong. You know what's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. What's wrong is when I look at Congress and I see people who are just regular folk or just, you know, business folk or whatever. So got business folk, regular folk, whatever. They get into Congress, get voted in. They might have Maybe ten dollars in the bank, ten thousand in the bank, a hundred grand in the bank. And if they're in Congress long enough, when they come out, they're multimillionaires. How does that happen? How does that happen when well, most of the people in Congress aren't rich at all? And when they come out, they're super rich. That's not a problem. <laughs> but some dude who wears a headband, who got a bunch of East, 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 uh, a bunch of GameStop uh, 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 options and stocks, he's he's the problem. To quote my dude about Britney Spears, leave Warren Kitty alone. Don't do it. Don't do it, Morgan Stanley. <laughs>